Hi there, welcome back to Angry Admin Channel, your go-to place for not getting frustrated with sysadmin stuff. I am the Angry Admin from AngrySystems.com and today we are diving into the task that may just test your patient. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Before we start, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps the channel. Also, check out my new book about the snapshots. It's on the Amazon and the link is in the video description. Today, I am going to show you how to change booting from BIOS to UEFI. So you want to change the booting of ESXi from BIOS to UEFI. Yeah, that sounds simple. But if you got, let's say, thousands of servers, well, that's nightmare waiting to happen. There are few ways to tackle this task. First, the old school way, reboot the host and fiddle around the BIOS settings. Second, you can log into out-of-band access like iDRAC or ILO and make changes over there, like we can see over here on the screen. This is the iDRAC and I'll be doing that using Dell machines. So that's why I'm using iDRAC. I don't have a HP, so I can't show you ILO, but I presume it's something similar. Let's be frank, who have a time to do it on the thousand plus servers? This is where the scripting comes to our rescue. Why manually slog through settings on a thousand servers when you can automate the process? Uh, this is not just a smart, but is a sanity saving. However, as I, I am not a coder, I am not a programmer, so it took me a few days, and that's why I haven't produced any video for a while, I was focusing on this task. Okay, guys, okay, smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get to it. So before I show you the code, before we start coding all together, there's a few things I need to tell you and I need to show you. This is the iDRAC and this is the settings for BIOS. How to get to that? Once you have an iDRAC, you go to the configuration and there's a BIOS settings and this will put us on this page. So the first settings we need to change is boot settings. As you can see here in the boot mode, we change from BIOS to UEFI. So just click on UEFI and go scroll down and you have to apply those changes. Now, once we go back a bit, you see that the current value is a BIOS but the pending value is UEFI. Pending value means that the change will take a place on the next reboot, okay? But this is not at all. If that would be the task, that's super easy to do it. But we have a four more settings which we need to set up, okay? So now we have to go to security, system, system security and we need to switch on TPM. We need to enable hierarchy. We need to enable Intel TXT and we need to enable secure boot. And also in the TPM advanced settings, there is a settings which is not visible right now it's called TPM algorithm settings. Why we can't see the settings? Because this is dependencies. So the first, we need to switch on UEFI with secure boot and TPM. We have to reboot our server. Then we will be able to switch on the TPM algorithm settings reboot and then as a last part 
we will be able to turn on Intel TXT. Hence, this task requires three reboots. And with the three reboots, manually waiting for each reboot is just not feasible. Okay, so now how I approach this. I first thought was to use Ansible and the YAML files. However, for some reasons on one of my systems that everything went sideways, uh, I think the version were, were not compatible and then I start upgrading stuff. It was a nightmare. So I try Python. And if you can see, I will show you now, those are, this is my Python script, which just do the job. Uh, however, if you can see the open tabs here, that was all my tests and different approaches to the problem. Now, once I test on the Python, I thought to myself, why not use a PowerShell? A PowerShell is my favorite, actually, scripting language. Um, and as most of my tasks for um, for administrating um, the VSphere environment are in PowerShell, I said, let's do that in the PowerShell. And this is what I will show you now. Okay, so let's start with PowerShell. Now, there is a one thing to consider because we need to perform three reboots, okay? Three reboots. And the caveat is like this, that in iDRAC, and again, I don't know how the ILO works, but in iDRAC, once we schedule the job for the reboot and we reboot uh, ESXi host, we need to wait until the host is back online before we can change another settings. So I was thinking, what is the best way to know that the server is back? And on the first instance, I thought maybe we should check the ports if they are become available. And I said like, let's test port 443. Um, if it's available, then move to the next task. And this didn't work quite well because port is available during the booting process and the uh, next job cannot be scheduled. So I will show you how to add this condition as well, but I need to put additional condition, which is wait time. And I gave it like 900 seconds, which equals 15 minutes for the reboot. Those changes are time consuming. And what happened is that once server reboots, it goes into the BIOS settings, change the BIOS settings, exit out, saving, reboot again, and booting. So it, I manage, I measure the time, and on the one host, I was okay with seven minutes. On the other host, it went more than 10 minutes. So for the sake, I will put 900 seconds, which equals 15 minutes, but you guys can do whatever you want. Okay, that's enough for um, for the introduction. Now let's code. Uh, let's do some coding. However, click on the like button, subscribe if you haven't, ring the notification bell not to miss another video. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, as we have a three reboots. Okay, so we have a three repetitive tasks. So not for our code, not to repeat the code at the same time, we are going to build a function. Okay. And that function will be for um, update BIOS settings. Let me just grab my keyboard over here. And let's start. So what I like, I will like always like a um, make a quick notation. Okay, I put a fun function to update BIOS settings and create a job. The what job? So once we go back to our iDRAC um, and we see that 
we apply some changes, yes? So change um, current value, pending value. In iDRAC, you have to create a job and you have uh, two jobs to create, uh, two choices. One is apply and reboot now or at the next reboot. So I will show you what happened, what will happen when I, once I click at the next reboot. One of those, it doesn't matter, but if I would click on the reboot, it would reboot right now, which I don't want to do it. You see that, so once I click on one of these buttons, it's create a job. And now you can see the job queue, and we see that that job is scheduled over here for BIOS change. So this is important uh, because my initial problem was that I was able to change all the settings I wanted, but I couldn't figure out how to create a job. And even though that I put my settings and they were pending like here, they were pending like here and I reboot the server, that change did not take effect because it wasn't scheduled as a job. Okay, so this is important. So you have to schedule the job. So now if you go to the job queue, and actually what I will do, I will delete all the jobs. So this will reverse everything what I did. Okay, no jobs. Now, BIOS settings. Okay, and the change disappear. Okay, so now we have a, a server to test. All right, okay. So we start from the function and we call it update BIOS settings. Okay, so now we will get some parameters. As you can see, I already, I played with that around, so I already have um, some variables created, uh, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect anything. Okay, uh, by the way, uh, just to let you know, the whole script is available on my GitHub repository, and I will link that down below the video. Now, how to change a settings in BIOS using iDRAC? I am going to use API. Uh, Dell has this API called Redfish, and that's what we are going to use. Now, if you want to know, there's a two ways how to know where to go on the settings. So the first one, if you go to your iDRAC, again, and if you go to, I think, configuration, yes, server configuration profile, if you click on it, you can export the profile and you can export everything or bio settings, NIC cards, rate, whatever. If you export that thing in, and if you use XML or JSON, you will get the name and the objects for the API. So, uh, I, if I have one, let me have a look very quickly. So this is the example, one of the servers, and as you can see, uh, those are variables, and there's the values which are set up now. Uh, what we are looking for is like TPM, for instance, and you can see this TPM, Security is on, hierarchy is enabled, TXT is on. So this is the settings we are looking to get. So this is the one way to get your variables, your values. The other way is once you have a iDRAC URL. And so let's see that. Let's duplicate this and I'll just put in there. So this is the iDRAC. So we just 
clear this part and we put redfish and then version one and we are looking for system and click enter of course we have to authenticate again so just give you a few moments okay and you can see that uh, the systems then we have a description and there's a member of system enable one so what we need to do is to take this enter and there you are there's a lot of settings over here but if we want to go even further we can go to bios yes and then what we are interested in are settings yes and we can see uh, some settings over here and from here you can figure out what needs to be changed or where you have to go okay so also there is a Dell documentation of course okay let's go back to coding okay so now let's call this urls this called the api and i will just copy that because uh, i may, may can make mistake so this one this guy is to change settings this guy is to create a jobs And now we try to apply settings and create a job. So bear with me. Now, I will stop you here for a second, because if we do this and we just close it, like, so let's say, sorry, mistake, uh, and we do this only like, That means that we will schedule job for the next reboot. In the in the one go, we can change BIOS to UEFI. We can enable secure boot, and we can turn on TPM. However, we need two more settings. We need TPM algorithm to change from SHA-1 to SHA-256, reboot again, and then we can turn on Intel TXT. However, if we leave this like, 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 if we leave that code like this, it will schedule the job for the next reboot, but it will not reboot the server. So we still have to reboot manually. So what to do? We need to add another line. Oh, come on. And we need to request the reboot. And I for I sorry I forget to close the bracket. Yeah. So if we add reboot job type power cycle, or we can do the force power. Now we made sure we got the server will reboot instantly. Okay. So this part is changing the settings, but now we need to create a job 
as I mentioned before, without creation a job, the reboot will not um, apply the changes we made. All right. And I will stop for a second. You see in the first method, once we change settings, we use the patch method, and now we are using post, okay? So that's important. Here in the settings is patch, here is a post, all right. Uh, you know, write host, which means it will write a message for us on the screen, yes? So this is the method try and catch. So this is to try and catch errors. So um, once we have a try, we put as well catch there. So just try. So this function will update the BIOS and create a job. So guys, this video already has about 30 minutes, around half an hour, which is long enough. Um, so I will spread this for two videos or maybe three videos. We'll see how the other part will go. Um, so what you need to do, just subscribe to my channel, click notification bell, not to miss another video, like, and please leave a comment. Um, let's discuss the code. Uh, let's discuss the purpose of uh, switching on um, EU, EFI, booting and TPM.